Hey everybody, it's Michelle, and today I've got for you a quick Pilates reformer ab focused workout. So it's going to be a lot of fun. We're going to do some different kind of exercises. Uh, we're not even going to use the straps at all. We're mostly going to utilize the shoulder rests and the back rails of the machine to get a really fun and different ab workout. All right, so I hope you enjoy it. If your reformer is elevated off the floor, unlike mine, uh, you may want to have your long box close by uh, so that you can sit or have your foot on it for some of the things we're gonna do uh, touching the floor. All right, so I have my foot bar all the way down and then I'm gonna do this whole workout on a single blue spring. So that's kind of a light to medium spring. You can adjust for yourself. All right, so we're gonna start. I'm gonna sit on the floor next to my machine. This is where maybe you wanna sit on your long box next to your machine. And then just set yourself up so that your shoulder rest is kind of comfortably right in front of you to place your hand on, all right? Now to change the range of motion, you can change where you're sitting. So the further you scoot away from your foot bar, the bigger the range will be. So sit pretty close to your machine, very close just as long as you're not touching it. Feet flat, knees bent, hold the shoulder rest with one hand, grab the leg with your opposite hand. Now take a breath in and sit tall. As you exhale, we're just very simply gonna push the carriage forward and then let it return. Yeah, it doesn't look like much, but you're gonna start feeling this in your hip flexors and in your low abdominals pretty quickly. Yeah, it's a lot of work for our abs to hold our spine tall against the springs wanting to pull us back. All right, now increasing the work here. When the arm is straightening, we're gonna flex over the legs, getting a bigger range, and then restack to neutral on the return. Exhale to flex, inhale to lift. So you're getting work for the abs in both directions. We're getting that shortening phase of the exercise here, and then the abs are working, lengthening as we sit back up. Yes, you can adjust your sitting position however needed to make this more comfortable. You can do this with straight legs even. It's super, super hard. I've tried it. So bent legs is a little bit easier. All right, you guys, let's do two more. Make sure the back of your pelvis is staying vertical. It stays grounded and the back is moving. All right, now hold your rounded back and just do a couple bend and stretches staying here. Good, don't let your spine get twisted or rotated. Good, feel the belly button drawing back into the spine. Three, using this hand to help you too. And then on your last one, let yourself come back up tall. All right, last thing here, we're gonna add rotation. So push the carriage away and you're gonna twist away from it and then sit back up tall. Yeah, so I'm kind of pulling with my outside arm pushing on the carriage arm. So you get that kind of opposition, pulling and pushing, and then return. Yeah, try not to flatten your back over the legs. Really think of rounding and C curving the spine. So good, you guys, let's do two more. And then this will be our last one, and then we'll just come up and rest. Oh, very good. All right, using this same shoulder rest, we're gonna come up and place our closest knee back against it and our other foot forward on the floor, okay? So you kind of adjust around till this is pretty comfortable. I like to have a little bit of space between my kneecap and the shoulder rest, so my thigh is at a slight angle rather than straight up and down, all right? Hands wherever you'd like. Stack nice and tall. As you exhale, we're just gonna drag the carriage more underneath us and then let it glide back. <sighs> exhale, pull forward and then back. <sighs> so maintaining our neutral spine the entire time. Yes, when the knee goes back, don't let the back get pulled into an overextension. <sighs> Good, so now again, we're working the psoas, the hip flexors, all the way up into those lower abdominals. Yeah, so it's kind of fun to see that we can get some really good ab work without just doing crunches, right? Because that gets old after a while. And our abs are a lot more than just like six pack muscles. Yeah, they run all over the place, down into our legs, 
All right, now place the hands behind the head and we're gonna add a little bit of spinal flexion to this. So as you exhale, you're gonna round. Pretend like there was a beach ball in front of you that you're hovering up and over, and then you're gonna reach back tall. <sighs> exhale, fold. So I'm scooping, I'm not just collapsing down and then lift back up tall. So good, you guys, just adding to that shortening action of the abdominals. <sighs> a lot of work for the back of this bottom leg as well. Pull, and then lift. So good, let's do two more times. Round, and then return. Last one. <sighs> Very nice. All right, let's all do all of that on the other side. So. Get to the new side of your machine. Get situated. Okay, here we go. So same setup as before. Start pushing the carriage away from you. It's a good time to make adjustments if you need to move front to back or side to side. Oh, very good. This is harder than it looks. Keeping even weight on both sitting bones here is really challenging. Keeping a tall back of your hips is not easy. Very good. So now let's add the spinal flexion. We're exhaling as we round over the thighs. Inhale to return. Yeah, really feel this scapula protracting and widening away from your spine. And then come up tall. Yes, yeah, so it really feels good on that upper back. Kind of opens Ooh, that space back there. Yeah, we tend to get really tight, like between our shoulder blades, right? So this is actually kind of actively lengthening that spot as we work the front of the body. All right, now let's hold our flexion, maintain this C shape, and then continue with the arm without getting rocked off center. Good, and again, this is an ab exercise. Yes, our arm's working, but really stay connected to this rounded back for three, for two, for one, and then come on up. Awesome. All right, adding in our rotation here. So last little burst on this one. You're gonna rotate away from the carriage and then come back up tall. You can start to feel this in the obliques. A little bit more here, yeah? Especially on that nearest side to the carriage. That's where I feel it big time. Yeah, so I'm pulling with my leg arm, pushing with my carriage arm. Let's do that three more times. See if you can look back behind you. Two more. Last one. Oh, amazing. All right, coming up into that kind of kneeling lunge position, have a little bit of space between your thigh and the shoulder block. And then as you lean forward, your quad will kind of rest against it, okay? All right, think of squeezing your glutes and tucking under just a little bit, and you should feel a long stretch through that hip flexor. So we start stretched, and then we take that stretched muscle and we draw it up, and then you lower down. Yeah, and you may even be able to kind of hook your toes on the back edge of the carriage if that gives you a little bit more leverage. Yeah, you can definitely play around with the leg positioning here. So good. So the hip flexors are lengthened, but then we're loading them up, which is a really unique kind of challenge. Yes, pull and then return. Let's do two more. Think of getting taller as the carriage comes under you. All right, now take those hands to the back of the head. Feel like you go up to go over as we flex the spine and then return. Exhale, carve, inhale, release. So good. Good, really bring the eyes fully back up so you get to that stacked alignment. Amazing, let's do two more. Last one. Beautiful. All right, very good, you guys. Okay, next we're gonna come fully onto the carriage. So both knees are against both shoulder rests. Roll your wrists out a little bit because we're gonna be on our hands. 
If you happen to have a platform extender, you're welcome to place it uh, across your rails and place your hands on that, or maybe grab some sticky mats or some cushion if you feel like your wrists need it, all right? I'm just gonna grab right onto the rails. Hands out. Okay, now again, you can have a little bit of space between your kneecaps and the shoulder rests, all right? My hands are nice and far forward. Take a breath in. We're gonna go into a cat and a cow stretch here. So as you inhale, you're gonna slightly extend the spine and lengthen out the abdominals a little bit. Now as you exhale, you're gonna pull the carriage under you, round your back, and get that edge of the machine close to your wrists. And then we reverse that, inhale to come up, exhale to fold. So really slow movements here. So we're spending a lot of time under the tension of the springs. That's it. Now, if you feel like you're hitting your wrists prematurely, then congratulations, you're so strong. You get to move your hands a little further forward. And then back. Yeah, try to fold equally from both sides, kind of arrive together and then reach. So good. Let's do one more time. Now we're gonna hold the flexion and just do little pulses out and in from our hips. Don't move the shoulders, keep the back for four. Low back gets closer to the ceiling. Three, two, one, and then relax. Wow. All right, you can sit your hips back over your heels for a second. Ooh, that is not easy. <laughs> All right, next we're gonna challenge ourselves a little bit by going into a three-point kneeling position. So now we have one less base of support. So you're gonna pick a leg to send back behind you. Now make sure when that leg comes off, we don't lean way over to one side. So we wanna keep our weight centered between the two hands. My spine and my leg are in one line. All right, now to start with, just leave your back flat and we're gonna isolate this bottom hip to be the mover, okay? Now again, you can walk the hands further out to get a bigger range of motion. Good, so we're getting this nice deep flexion of the hip without the leg or the spine being affected. All right, next we're gonna flex the lifted leg and the spine like we're curling into a ball. So that knee is gonna come between the shoulder rests. I try to touch it to my nose and then drift back long. And again, the slower and the more sustained here, the better. And then return, good, take your time. So if you would like to do a more extended back, you can. For me, I'm just going to that straight line and then flexing. So good, you guys, let's do this one more time. Inhale long, exhale crunch. And then rest yourself down. Oh, very good. All right, let's do the other leg. Here we go. So keep this femur nice and vertical. Take your new leg up, hands a little bit out in front of the shoulders, and then we pull from the supporting hip. Yes, you almost wanna think of that back leg lifting ever so slightly as we pull on the carriage. Good, strong through those underarms. Okay, now when you're ready, we curl into a ball and flex the knee and spine and then reach. Exhale, drag and then return. The slower, the better. I know it's tempting to rush through it and get it over with, but don't jip yourself. In and then out. Let's do one more time here. And then relax. Whew. Awesome. Okay, so we're gonna do one last little thing for our obliques. So we're gonna get a little rotation in the lower body to target them, all right? So knees together. How we're gonna do this is you're gonna kind of swing your knees towards one shoulder rest, the feet off towards the other side, okay? And just however that's comfortable for you to do with your machine, you might have to make adjustments. But basically our lower body is turned and then our hands are gonna go back down on the rails where they were, okay? So now my hips are gonna start kind of open. So for me, my top knee isn't even touching the mat. It's just stacked on my supporting leg. Okay, here we go. We're just gonna pull the carriage towards our hands and then drift away. 
Okay, and for this one, we're not really thinking about the spine, just whatever it has to do to allow the carriage to move. Okay, so you really are gonna feel that oblique and QL on the bottom side. Yes, and maybe your top knee touches the mat by the time the carriage is under you. Two, and last one. Ooh, that's not easy. Okay, adding on, we're gonna lift that back leg, which is challenging to hold it there in space. Ready? So now just reach that top leg behind you. My bottom knee is still angled across, and we pull and then return. So just like before, don't drop the leg when I pull the carriage in. Good. Last two, and then we'll take a break. Last one, and then rest. Whew. All right. Last variation. This one is so fun. We're going to swing the leg off the edge of the carriage. So we get a little momentum and tons of work for that glute and outer thigh. Okay, we ready? This is our last little bit, so give it your all. Reach the leg back. Now as I pull the carriage under me, my foot sweeps to the side and then return, keeping it as high as possible and drift. Good, up and down. Really spread the shoulder blades apart. Puff the ribs to the ceiling, two. And last one. Whew. Come down and rest. Oh, wow. Awesome. That's my new favorite. That's so fun. All right, let's go ahead and do that on the other side. So angle the knees and the feet to their new direction. Hands down. Okay, start with the hips pretty open. Your top knee might come off. And then we pull. And return. So the shoulders try to kind of stay over the wrists. And it's the lower body that brings the carriage to the hands. Awesome, you guys. Three more. Maybe that top knee touches. Two. Last one. Ooh, and then let's take a break. All right. Third of the way down. So now we got two more versions. Lifted leg first, and then the swinging leg. All right, here we go. Lift the leg, hip height, open the supporting hip, and then we pull and return. Drag and lengthen, so good. Pull and in, couple more times. So that bottom hip is internally rotated, two more. Last one, Ooh, and then relax. Oh. Okay, we made it, last one. Let's add the swing. This one is so fun, so let's do it. All right, hip open, leg behind, take a breath in to get ready, and then we go, like a karate kick coming forward, and drift, reach, and back. The higher you keep that leg, the better. Let's do three more, we can do it. Long, low back, two, and last one, and then rest. Oh my goodness, so good, you guys. All right, we're gonna end with a little bit of a stretch for the abs, the hip flexors, all that stuff we were working. So face towards your foot bar. If you feel comfortable adding on some more springs, you can just to keep the carriage from moving. So take your feet, tap your toes together, and just kind of rest your feet on the headrest between the shoulder blocks. And then you're gonna come up. And I've got my knees a little bit apart. That's comfortable for me. Now. Take your hands, you're gonna round your back forward, and I like to kind of push my feet out into the shoulder blocks, and then I just want you to grab onto them, which I know looks a little bit funny, but it's gonna feel really good. So grip onto them however you can, and then you're gonna actively pull away from them, and you should feel a nice stretch through the back of the shoulders. Okay, so this is where we start. This is the coolest starting position ever. So now you're gonna let go with one hand, circle your arm to one side, press your hips forward, and feel that nice hip flexor and ab stretch that I promised. So you're looking over the shoulder rest behind you. Now sit your hips back, round over your knees, and we're gonna switch sides. So as I pass through the middle, I'm gonna kind of pulling with my hands, against the shoulder rests, hips forward, let the head hang, and then we'll just alternate side to side a couple times. Circle and reach. 
stretch. Whoo, feels so nice. Now, if this is too intense, feel free to come up and just place your hands on the back of your pelvis and go side to side here, okay? You listen to your body, don't overstretch if that's feeling like too much. Okay, let's do one more time to either side. So it's kind of a semi like side bend, back extension, hip extension. Very good, take one last stretch for the upper back, both hands on. Feel like you're trying to pull the shoulder rests out of place. Hey guys, we did it. Thank you so much for joining me for that abdominal workout on the reformer. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please leave it a thumbs up. Leave me a comment down below if you have any feedback or requests. Uh, be sure to subscribe to the channel, turn on your notifications, and share this video with someone who would love it. And I'll see you next time. Bye.